Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover. Yes, that is my name for this channel. Yeah, right, sorry. I have a second channel. Anyways, let's continue playing as the Union of Britain. But first, like I said in the last video, let's get started with a couple of comments that I had over the past basically two days at this time. First one up that I remembered to write down was, in the next playthrough, you should play as Japan. Well, that's a potential candidate for playing as the country of Japan. Uh, let's see. I'm not saying no, but I'm not saying yes. It's it's in the bag. I'll say that. It is in the bag for me to potentially play. Japan is not a bad nation. It's kind of a fun nation to play as, but... Oh, Ching Chen is, in, is in, not in its own faction. Yeah, yeah. The white faction is the Medium Wars, which is actually Polish, owned by Japan. Regardless. Maybe I play as Japan. Maybe I won't. Uh, but, uh, to counter that one, someone also recommended me for me to play as Secular Mexico. So... If you didn't know, Mexico in the latest DLC update for this game actually received a massive focus tree that you can be communist, democratic, and fascist if, if you want to go either way, or maybe I think even non-aligned. Oh wow, political power change plus 30%, that's pretty good. Go secular, which means, let's see, I have not played as Mexico yet, so I'm not exactly sure. I know you can go communist and say we are a secular state. Uh, which is here, Triumph over the Cristeros, or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. The Legion of Christ is obviously not very secular. Kind of cool, though. Crusade against atheism. This is probably not what you want, or Catholic priests. Uh, da -da -da, lo support Spain's loyalists. Rio Politique by Brazil. Uh, let's see. Smash bureaucrats over there. Purge the bureaucracy. Eh, it's somewhere here. They have... um. Secular, sec very, very secular nation. I remember once atheist state was a focus that Mexico had. Uh, let's see. Eh, it's somewhere in here. It's, it's probably right here and I can't even see it. So, regardless, that was one of the comments. Another comment was for the air doctrine I asked a couple days ago. So, if you choose this for your air aircraft designer, and if you choose one of these, you see how it says air research speed? Well, that only applies to planes only, according to one of the comments that, uh, was left a few days ago, so if you didn't know that, we all know that now. If you want faster planes, that's use aircraft designer, but it won't help you with air doctrine, which is pretty much replaced with theorists, which is under the theorist tab, of course. Uh, next up, and someone else wants me to play, someone else, notably Germany. I don't know why I say Germany, I just say Germany. I gotta sound like more of an, an American. So, Germany, except, but he left a comment saying, except the part where you lose and recruit SS soldiers. Well, I'm, I'm probably thinking, just play Germany, don't lose, and recruit SS divisions, which sounds cool. SS Soldaten, so that's pretty cool. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. And the last comment that I am getting to right now will be, uh, you can, I already knew this, but uh, if you need more soldiers more quickly, you see how it says Gloucestershire, where you want your divisions to be placed. At least I think this is what the guy said about getting divisions quicker. You click see add unit, and you see this, you can deploy all lines immediately. Any soldiers that are currently in training that and have more than 20% of its training done can be instantly deployed wherever you set them, which is a great tool if you're getting attacked and you must have more divisions more quickly. I don't believe I'm in that position right now. Overall, I think we're really in a good position in terms of strength we're not we're not great obviously we're really not great but we're not bad especially if if our tanks can do well if our tanks can do well then great we will have a chance of winning a war against the germans if not well then we're gonna have one hell of a fight but yeah i will only really use it in two cases one if i really need defensive force that i just don't have it ready or two which really comes in handy when you play as Germany and you need to have a, like a million soldiers within a year. All I just do is click this button. Click deploy all lines instantly if you need as much manpower in the field. They can be the crappiest soldiers as long as you got a ton of manpower in the field to get them all in there. So I'm going to keep making more divisions. I'm going to need a lot more armies. I'm going to need a lot, a lot more manpower as well. And uh, before we go to war with the Germans, let's see, Scandinavia, you are up here. And honestly, I'm probably already going to tell you to abandon this post. The Soviets are going to need help in Leningrad, or help hold the area around Leningrad. It's going to send them over there. Our Coast Guards have been told to guard 
ma pretty much all the major ports. I can tell you to stop doing this area, though. We will soon have three more guards. Oslo is already guarded by that unit, which is good. Um, yeah, I probably don't need a guard up there, but you never know. Anything else? Uh, yeah, Ireland can defend themselves. That's fine. And other than that... I'm not guarding this area. I should really not guard this as well. If this gets taken out, I'm really not concerned about it. Scottish Highlands. Oh, it's a core. Actually, maybe I should be concerned about it. Holy crap, that's actually really good. You know, I'm going to leave them there. If there's any place I could take off... Actually, I need to defend this area too. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. I set that to high for now. Uh, yeah. This island, obviously, is part of this area, so I can't do it much, but they're good to bug, I don't really care about Alin, I don't really care about either, yeah, other than that, I think we're pretty good, and before we do anything too crazy, I am actually going to start using some of, not these guys, uh, you guys actually stop training for now, and it looks like my cat, once again, wants to leave, uh, go ahead and stop training as well, you know, go ahead and repair, I'm going to tell everyone to repair if they need to, I, we will go to war as soon as our ships are ready, because these ships will be extremely necessary as my cat is leaving my bed. Hold on here. Yeah, Mom, come on. Come on, Mom. Yeah, come on. All right, guys. Uh, sorry about that. 28 destroyers. Now, these destroyers will be specifically used for convoy escorting around our nation. Ironsight escort. Yeah. Naval AA attack. Actually, that's pretty good. Hmm. Gotta love that coffee. Uh, let's go with Charles Forbes because he has some naval AA. And actually, since we're here... Oh, we got... Oh, more subs. Wait, when did you guys come? Reserve fleet. Oh, uh, well... Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and combine. Uh, this... Uh, dis Why do I have all of you displaced? Just... Just... Just merge. I'm going to shove my light cruisers into this area as well. Shove them all together. Because I'm going to have my light cruisers also help escort convoys. Alright. So this is the group we got. Six light cruisers, 29 destroyers. Because the light cruisers, they should be geared towards more anti-air. That's not bad. Not great, of course. But not bad. So let's go ahead and divide this up a little bit. I don't mind showing you how I'm going to do this. I've never done this actually before. But, one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. Let's go with seven and then a light cruiser. And then we'll choose this and we'll choose. And eh, let's get two light cruisers this time. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. And we're just going to keep dividing these up. Let's see. One. Uh, that should be pretty good. Five. And yeah. One. There you go. That's pretty even, honestly. Fairly even, even enough, you know. All right, so now I'm actually going to tell a lot of these guys that go in the same place. So you're going to the Task Force One, which we're going to have another heavy ship pull. Awesome, very soon. You guys come down to wherever the destroyers are being made in the Greater London area. Greater London area, very cool. Greater London, Greater London, awesome. Oh, we're making a, we're repairing this too. Cool. All right, not bad, not bad. Give us a little bit more time. Also, I did add on another tank brigade. It says tank brigade, but really it's just tank division. Cool. And actually, I still need to research maintenance companies. Before we do anything too crazy, though, we need more planes. We will need a ton of planes to defend at least. Oh, atomic research. I love atomic research. One time. Love it. For you guys. Uh, Interwar fighters, bombers. I can't believe they're only into war bombers, but I'm going to use whatever I can get. I really don't care. That's good. That's very good. Alright, and actually, how close are we to deploying? Eh, then we're not really that close to deploying the next group of garrisons. We got some research going. That's good. That's really good. Uh, we're good down here as well. We will need more rubber because our convoys will be getting struck a whole bunch. Definitely get us more radar. And honestly, there's really not much else we can do. There's really not much else. I mean, I guess I can train you guys for now. Give us a little more air XP since we do have full fuel capacity. 
rubber we are lacking rubber we will soon lose 16 counts of rubber probably very soon because i'll probably cancel this because the axis is going to destroy any convoys i have going down there so be it so really we should be focusing maybe a little bit more on a rubber field let's get a little bit more rubber because lapland even though it'll make some rubber we only get plus two for every refinery let's see how many soldiers do they have down here i think uh, the longer we wait the worse it's going to get but, oh yeah we have our soldiers up here that's good most of them are approaching that area. Japan, you're looking terrifying. China, you're looking pretty good, honestly. China's looking pretty darn good. Uh, how many more days until this? Oh, actually, that's pretty quick. That's actually pretty good. 95, 96, like 1% a day. Maybe we'll wait for this guy to get done. Maybe. Let's see. All right, then. Oh, they, there's fewer divisions here. But going to war with the Germans is so risky. Uh, what are you doing up there? Hmm. So incredibly risky. If I could get Leningrad, like, I could have the Germans attack Leningrad, take it, and then for me to attack Leningrad, that would be great. That'd be funny. The true communists hold Leningrad. Actually, just go ahead and put yourself right there-ish. Just in case. Just in case you never know what the line might look like in the future. And, alright. Here we go, boys and girls. Uh, let's get to our Navy stuff. Oh, wait, we got another sub. Cool. Oh, we got 20 in the subs. Uh, actually, this should not be up here. This should be... Uh, I'm going to... No, don't do that. I'll put you over here. British patrols. We're going to really destroy my fuel supply. Anyways, strike force. I need you to be a strike force, not over here, because that's very dangerous. Right now, we do own the Danish belt, but we can't really cross into there because... Trade routes will never pass. Fleets will never pass unless there's no other route. But now they can because I do own both of this. And that might actually be why I lost so much earlier. Anyways. Honestly, the best area. And I want my strike force to be at low. Because I don't want them to get destroyed. Well, we have four carriers here. Great. We have four carriers. Once we have another one, I'm going to convert this battle sh converted battleship hull to one of the, the patrol fleets, which would actually help them out quite a bit. We're still waiting for better battleships, though. Anyways, let's pause it. I will send you out to be a strike force. I, I don't want to be close to the German air bases, but I think I have to do this area. Now, that being said, we got that guy figured out. You, you know... Germany already can get a lot of resources through Africa, through the Mediterranean, because they have ports down here, or maybe not. They can probably get it through Italy, though. I want to say convoy escort, but I do want to do some convoy raiding right here. We really don't need to do the Danish belts. Hmm. English Channel. I know that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Those two, as well as, because I don't want my sub just destroyed by German planes. Can we do the Danish belts as well or not? Right click to add region. Well, it's not going. Yeah, I can't move through here still, so. Whatever. Oh, wait. I can... Oh, I can already add them, but they can't even get in there. It doesn't matter. Uh, two is pretty good. Two is pretty good. Not gonna lie. Do this area. Just in case. Just in case. <clears throat> so we got those guys done. Our patrols. You will be doing patrols. And you'll be set to low. Oops. Keep cycling through all these. Mm, you don't really need to do that area. Really. Just the aisles around here. All these aisles. And then I'm going to use a ton of fuel like I said. Now this is going to be the convoy escort fleet. Which I'm probably going to end up stop getting resources to various places. So, there, there. We have five, so that's pretty good. We'll do that, and if we can get in there, that'd be great. If we can't, whatever. Actually, since we did that, you know what? Just, no one's going to transport stuff through here. Yeah, just avoid all that. If you have to get supplies from the Soviets, don't go through Leningrad. Go up through, yeah, Pizamo in that area. That's good. Convoy escorts. Not super strong. Hopefully strong enough. Be low on engaging. Very, very low. Alright. And from there, 
we have an extra patrol fleet. Now, I'm going to maybe save these guys. I don't really want them to be engaged because they're pretty weak, honestly. And that does cost quite a lot of fuel. So I'm going to let the patrol fleet just kind of rest for now because the first patrol fleet will get hit and damaged pretty hard. Pretty darn hard, I'm more than certain. All right, before we move on, we are still building up a lot of forts, but our defensive positions look pretty good. Nine divisions here, five divisions here. The Dutch, our Dutch allies have a couple divisions as well, which can be used. Secret staff talks. What the heck is that? I know I'm taking a long time to get to war, but I just feel this is necessary. Secret staff talks. Obtain equipment, offensive and defensive combat bonuses, land doctrine research bonuses, and government and exile legitimacy. Oh, very cool. Anyways, uh, I didn't check your manpower levels. Uh, not bad, but really not great. Modernize the air fleet. Awesome. Unity through democracy. Well, how about you get the hell out of here? Um... I'm, I'm getting a little bit. I don't mind supporting this. It costs us a little bit so I can negate some of their democratic means. Yeah, you're not going to be... Yeah, you're definitely not going to be this if I'm going to support my ideology there. Actually, if I get... How much would this take? Oh. Hmm. 120 days? Eh, yeah, let's do that anyways. Make sure they stay communist. All right, boys and girls. Uh, besides what I just did, do Northwest Germany. We got 200 tactical bombers. Oh, shit. I didn't want to do that. There we go. Uh, everyone else is at 100. We got some naval bombers here. Do the... Come over here, actually. Go to the eastern North Sea. We got some planes in what was Norway. I don't want to use interwar fighters, but if I have to, I don't have to. Love it. Any ships that come out here will get blown up, hopefully. And the rest of us, let's see, heavy fighters. They're really only naval bombers, fighters, heavy fighters, great. And 400 of you guys. Send 200 here to come down here. That'll be good. We are ready to go. I will give the go ahead very soon. All right, they should be good enough. We're losing some oil, some fuel. Let's go ahead and do this. Germany, you have been a bastard for too long. That's a lot of manpower. That's a crap ton of divisions, and that's a lot of factories. But we will make sure that they will decolonize and not be a threat to world security. All right, boys and girls, we're going to lose all of Africa. I hope you're ready. I hope you're all ready for this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, this is not good. Anyways. All right. We've got to be careful about how we attack. Uh, I'm definitely going to give them the offensive doctor bonus first before we attack. I want to take this. But I think doing this first will be okay. And they're all in the war. They're all going to get killed, probably. And we're already getting attacked. Oh. Oh, we can invite a faction. Ching. Ching China. Out of all places, I can invite Ching China, which is fighting both the Soviets, as well as the Germans and the Japanese. You know, as tempting as that is, I'm going to say, nah, not for me right now. I can't believe we're actually losing ground already. Or getting attacked down here pretty harshly, which does make sense. I mean, it's, yeah, it is ten divisions. Send two divisions down here to help them out. Wow. Just drain them of all their resources. They got, oh, we suck a sub. That's good. Tanks, they're going to lead the charge. I want my infantry, though, to go ahead as well. But be careful, because trying to attack down here is a key key thing you gotta do. Attacking over this river is a pain in the butt. Which I know I shouldn't be doing with infantry, but my tanks are busy trying to take four divisions out. Nice. The German sub was sunk. Oh, we've already lost... Oh, quite a... Oh my goodness, quite a few subs. And we're gonna keep losing more subs. Oh, there's definitely a German fleet here. That's not good. Yeah, I already knew I was gonna... I have 11 divisions down here. I, I, but we're winning. We're winning. Not bad so far. Right? He's becoming a ranger. That's good. That's better. Uh, what happened? 11 German divisions. Cool. Oh, goodness. Japan? Sure. Poland? Sure. And what was it? Oh. Oh, boy. This was my patrol... See, the patrol fleet got hit pretty freaking hard. Yeah, go ahead and go home if you need to. No worries. Oh, what the hell am I doing with you guys? What the heck? Uh, do this. 
Come down here. Make sure we have air superior down here. I forgot about the Benelux. We need air superior over here as well. I swear I'm competent. Somewhat competent. Wait, carrier. Oh. Uh, let's see. All of you guys. You know what? Give me these naval bombers. Since we should have some strength over here to help out. Close air support will come to Amsterdam. Help out if they can. Naval bombers do this area. Tactical bombers bomb the hell out of them in here. And we need more fighters. God dang it. Yeah, uh, English Channel. I'll take. Uh, I'm gonna need half of you over here. That's fine. Yeah, that'll be good. Nice. We pushed in already. Let the tanks just keep pummeling them. If I can take Kiel initially, that'll be great. And Hungary's doing the war against us. Whatever. Lost two subs. They lost two more subs. We lost a plane of our ours of our own, which sucks. Oh goodness. We lost that old heavy cruiser, early cruiser. They lost three ships. We lost six. Well. These ships all were pretty darn bad, not gonna lie. Uh, we lost three more destroyers in exchange for five destroyers and two light cruisers. Not bad. And we lost five subs, but we already knew that. Uh, let's see. 70, 70 days, we will run out of fuel. Soviets, I, I just put my divisions up there. You know, I didn't want you to think that we're gonna attack you, because I'm definitely not. Definitely not. And let's see. They are attacking some Soviet Malaysian convoys and stuff. Oh, Africa. Oh, Africa, you're not going to do well. I'm surprised they actually have so many divisions on here. This has ten divisions? How good are they, though? They might be okay, actually. Hmm. Interesting. Who else is on low strength? Oh, yeah, I'm going to need more repair, repair yards, yeah. Uh, do that. That'll be better. Let's see, not bad. Keep repairing, keep upgrading if you need to, since it's almost done. Holes are doing okay. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Just keep going. Assembly line production, very cool. And since we will be hurt... <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, I need maintenance companies. Oh, god dang it. I need better... Oh, naval carrier... Oh, there's so much to research. Carrier naval bombers will be key, because I'm already using them both on my carriers and off of my carriers. Really... Oh, good. We're winning this battle. We're almost done. Ooh, what happened here? So, we lost a sub, which from 1936, in exchange for a light cruiser. Oh, we sunk another destroyer. That's pretty good. We only lost a plane. Yeah, that's not too bad. We're definitely getting our uh, money's worth, I guess, from our ships and planes. Come on, just crank them over. Get them over. Oh, that five divisions there. Oh, no. Six divisions, yeah. Give them a little more emphasis. Ooh, unread port strike results. Oh, God. Oh, we lost a plane while trying to bomb the hell out of them. We're holding pretty well in the Netherlands, um, so freaking well that I'm a little concerned as to why the Germans have abandoned their line, and I guess this is the beginning of the <clears throat> English, British, communist alternative invasion of mainland Germany in the West. That sounds actually really cool. Uh, take half of your guys. Take, come here. Take half of your guys. Come here. They want to attack the Dutch. Well, I will not permit it. Uh, actually, uh, I hate... I want to attack from multiple sides, but you really can't here. Have they invaded anywhere else? No. Germans, they're doing okay against the Soviets. Oh. Oh! So we lost a heavy cruiser, which sucks, but it's an early heavy cruiser. We lost a light cruiser and a destroyer in exchange for three light cruisers and four destroyers. That's not bad. In my opinion, light cruisers, or heavy cruisers, heavy cruisers are really not worth it too much. Yeah, seriously, just go ahead if you can. If we can take Wilhelmshaven, then we will find less ships hopefully around here. Ooh, Irish convoys, I am sorry for your loss. I like that green. I like that green a whole lot. Awesome, another destroyer sunk. Go ahead and take Wilhelmshaven if you can. We're gonna try a little Blitzkrieg here. Oh, Blitzkrieg? What, what's Blitzkrieg? Well, apparently it's a German word for lightning war. Apparently, you know, I learned that in this in the past couple days, uh, or this past couple years. It is 1941. That way, the Germans did take out the French, if you know what I mean. All right, it, I don't know where their armies are at, but as long as we don't lose in the Netherlands, because we do have a line of forts we can always come back to. God, my tactical ability is 
So great, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, not really. Oh my god, look at the aluminum we don't have. Oh. Um, do we need any supplies? Well, no. Well, we could use more planes, but we're out of aluminum, so I'm not even going to think about that. Artillery could be good, but support equipment could be good as well. Motorized could be good, and even better. Well, we need rubber for that, and I don't have it. Uh, I'll lower actually that by one to save on a little bit of rubber. Uh, guns, we got plenty of steel. I don't mind doing that. This, we got plenty of tungsten. Well, I guess not plenty, but we got some. We need more aluminum. I'm going to lower this for the aluminum costs. Move this over here. We got plenty of tanks. That's great. Oh, not bad. Not bad so far. Uh, the Soviets, see, I'm sure. A non-aggression pact at this time sounds like a great idea. You know, even though we proposed a uh, bond of unity or of cooperation. Oh, the, oh, God, the Italian fleet is here. With the Soviets, you know, they really should have asked us before they should have done anything. Nice, we're killing a bunch of Italian heavy cruisers. They're heavy, early heavy, oh, God. There goes a couple of our subs. Yeah, just try to smash the Italian Navy if you can. Yeah, we're struggling over here. We are definitely struggling. And now we are struggling down here as well. Go ahead and be a little bit more careful. But not too but not too uncareful. Oh, oh no, Kingdom of Jordan. Abdullah bin Al Hussein has announced that the Jordanian nation can no longer withstand the pressure from occupying forces. Occupying Italian forces. That actually does not look too bad. That looks, actually looks pretty nice, in my opinion. Uh, with more free factories, I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to put my guns all the way at the bottom. And just, like, if you have any spare factories, just throw them on here. I wish I could... I need more f ship repair speed. That could be really useful. Alright, guys. I need you to keep moving. I need to make sure that we can steal as many German factories as possible to give the Soviets a little bit more relief on that front. And it looks like we're going to have to stop an offensive while... We continue to expand. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, we lost? So we lost two of our own heavy cruisers, nine destroyers, and two subs, in exchange for four heavy cruisers and two light cruisers and two destroyers, huh? Go figure. Repairs probably are more needed. Yeah, let's do that. That'll be getting a couple months in queue. Actually, I forgot about this. Let's go to the naval page. There's going to be certain places where I don't want people to heal. There we go. Don't come here. Don't come here. Don't come here. Uh, that's okay. Don't come here to heal. Uh, that's actually okay up there. Over here, it's not worth it. Over here, yeah, it's not worth repairing right there. Up here is fine. Um, two out of ten, it's not bad. Yeah. Well, we definitely made a mark on the war so far. Definitely made our mark. Come on, keep pushing into there. What are the, what are the casualties like? The initial casualties will tell us how well we think the war is going. Nice, three uh, Italian destroyers have been sunk in exchange for another plane. Ooh, very cool, another heavy cruiser sunk, great. And I will get to the casualties very soon, but I like seeing all the battle, resu battle results. Uh, let's see, over here, well, let's see. We've lost 55,000 men on our side. Uh, the Dutch have actually lost 15,000. Interesting. Hmm. Zombie and People's Republic has lost about 700 or so. That's pretty good compared to the German side, at least for us personally. 55,000 versus 100,000 German losses. Not terrible. Another destroyer. Good. <clears throat> we got some more infantry, but I'm kind of scared now to <laughs> move my infantry from here to... Uh, over here to the Scandinavian countries. Come on, please push hard. Cool, very good. Uh, if you can, move one division over there. Yes, we are spreading ourselves somewhat thin. We definitely are. I could actually use my tanks down here. Uh, but, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to have to move that extra army I have in the UK down here. But I don't want to lose too many divisions. And actually, you just come over here. You come over here to Lille. Uh, I really don't want to move my divisions over here. Because they, they will get hit. They will definitely get hit. And I don't want to... Oh, the pride of their fleet is not looking so good. Here's what I'm going to do. You're defending. If 
for now, but you're not going to for a while. I'm going to start sending a few divisions at a time to help the war support in the UK. I did not expect us to do this well against the Germans in this part of the you know theater. So, I will send another army to help reinforce them, because this is not going as well as I had hoped. Oh no. Ah, oh, just another convoy, whatever. Over here, we lost a destroyer in exchange for a battleship. Heck yeah. The pride of their fleet, a light cruiser, and two Italian destroyers, and another Italian destroyer, and then another Italian heavy cruiser, and another Italian destro destroyer, I think. Hope I read that correctly. Nice. Now the German destroyer. Very cool. Come on, just... God dang it. Uh, Zaibi Sanma joined the mutual assistance block. Well, that's actually pretty thick. I'm not going to lie. That does help them out quite a bit. Oh, what the hell? Oh, no. Zaibi Sanma apparently has just annexed Yunnan, which was China, which took over original China. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, we lost the plane. That's fine. Destroyer. Well, I'm sorry for the family that lost their pilot son. But you know, we're all going to experience losses in this war. This says green. Just go. Green means go, right? In Germany, green means go. As far as last time I checked. Uh, cool. Cool. Oh, God. Is that by itself? Oh, it has a destroyer. It has a single screen with it. Lost a plane. How is my air production? We do not have a... What are you doing? A ton of fuel. Uh, come, actually, come over here. I do Northwest Germany. Come on, my tanks. You are the pride of our nation. We might actually win over here. We might actually win. And... Zabi Sama wants an uh, agreement. Oh, Mongolia wants a non-aggression pact. Awesome. Yeah, we'll do that. And... See, we lost that. We... We didn't take any losses, but we destroyed four Italian ships. A heavy cruiser, two light cruisers, and a destroyer. Great. Uh, a destroyer, and then another Italian sub. God, we're killing so many Italian ships here. That's great, actually. Since we got a couple more dockyards, that's what we stole from German-held places. I'm actually going to do that. 12. Increase that to 12. That's not too bad. Yeah, keep repairing things. If we need any more things, I'm going to tell them... If we have any more dockyards that we capture, I will definitely tell them to go make some more convoys. Oh, we're definitely going to need some of these guys here. So go ahead and send two over here. You're only going to be in the water for just a tiny bit, but unfortunately, that is all the time we have for today. I'm a little bit over 30 minutes, but whatever. Uh, like my coffee, we are done. Uh, basically, we have definitely helped pull German interests completely away from the Soviets. I mean, they're still doing a lot of damage to the Soviets, I bet. But we have taken quite a chunk of territory... Uh, over here in this part of Europe compared to what I thought what we were going to take more territory over here. Oh, we actually won that battle. Great. Regardless, though, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, I really do appreciate all your comments and likes. You guys have been doing great with like six likes in a day. Jesus, that's awesome. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow.